Welcome back to the junk room, everybody. It's me, the junk man, coming back at you with a whole new video. Uh, so let's let's talk about something serious. Yeah, right. Uh, today, what we're gonna talk about? We're gonna go way up north, Canada country. Those wacky Canadians. They couldn't stand it that we had Star Wars. So instead of trying just to make a rip-off Star Wars movie, what do they do? Horn in on our parade. They did a Star Wars promotion and leave it to those wacky Canadians. They had to ruin it. Ruin a promotion. Now before we get started, as always, Patreon, YouTube member, t-shirts. All that supports the channel. All that description below. Let's move on. Subscribe to the channel. Like and all that. Let's talk about the wacky Star Wars Coca-Cola promotion where you had to do math out of school. They wanted kids, or I guess adults, to do math just to win a dollar off Coke. Or less than that. So, first, let's look at how this contest worked. Again, it was just in Canada. We're not talking about the Japanese contest. It is something similar to this, but we're talking about the Canadian one. First, you had Coca-Cola. Now, back then it was in a glass bottle or a can. You would take the top off and it'd be a bottle cap. Inside would be a plastic little sleeve, rubber, and you would pull it off. Under that cap, you would see a head from Star Wars. Now, I wasn't in Canadian at the time, but how do I know about the peeled off light label? This was very common, especially in the late 70s, early 80s. And I'm not trying to brag, but sometime around the late 70s, early 80s, Coca-Cola did a similar contest, just not Star Wars related. And guess who won a Mean Joe Green jersey? Pittsburgh Steelers. I don't know much about football. I don't know anything about sports. All I knew was Mean Joe Green was a player that liked to drink Coke and liked to throw people t-shirts. But I won it. I won a Mean Joe Green jersey. And I wore it to school. Man, I couldn't wait either. Finally, here I was going to school. Something sports related. Football related. Something that was popular. Yeah. Yeah. Sure, I went to school most of the time with my Star Wars shirt on, maybe here and there a Star Trek shirt, and sometimes my different stroke shirt. But now, I was going to school with a Mean Joe Green jersey on. Amy had to notice me this time. I mean, really, how could she not? She loved John Gorman, and all he ever did was talk about football and play softball and basketball and t-ball and if there was anything John could play with that involved balls he would play with it <sighs> maybe that's why he never went out with Amy Covey although she was crazy about him <sighs> he even wore a snorkels t-shirt one time because I heard she liked the show but there I was sitting in class with my mean Joe Green jersey on <sighs> I don't think anyone even noticed but me Anyway, you didn't come here to hear me reminisce about my school days. You came here up here about the wacky Canadian Coca-Cola promotion with a bottle cap. So you pulled the bottle cap off, and inside was his from the Star Wars show. Star Wars show. From the Star Wars movie. Luke, Han. Let's, let's take a look at them. It was the main characters. You had Luke Skywalker, Han Solo, Leia Organa, Chewbacca, Ben, Obi-Wan Kenobi, C-3PO, Darth Vader, and of course, R2-D2. Now, on top of the cat was 3PO. This is how you would know you had the, uh, the promotion right. That you had the right glass. That you <coughs> That you had the right glass or can. If you didn't have 3PO on the bottle top, you wouldn't play in the promotion. You was probably getting some old promotion. But 3PO was on the top. Open it up. Now... You had to peel off that rubber part to see the uh, character you won. Now, I've done some research, and it seems like some of the characters were on the peel-off label and not on the actual cap. See here? But for the most part, they were on the cap. Now, you got your bottle cap. You got your Star Wars head. So, what do you do now? It's not worth nothing yet. First, you have to match them up. You have to give them in pairs 
for it to be worth anything. Let's take a look at that. Each cat would have a letter under it. Luke was A, Princess was B. I'm not going to go through them all. Sorry, you can Google it. The contest was found on 300 milliliters, 10 ounces, 26 ounces, and 1 liter bottles of Coca-Cola. And here was the value. 3P and R2 could be found in every 24 bottles of Coca-Cola. And it would win you 15 cents. If you got Han Solo and Chewbacca that was found in every 36 bottles, that would get you 25 cents. Then there was Obi-Wan with Darth Vader, what was found in every 48 bottles, that would get you 50 cents. And the grand prize of them all was matching Luke Skywalker with Princess Leia, which could be found in every 169 bottles of Coca-Cola, that would put one crispy dollar in your wallet. Now we're talking Canadian money here, I don't know how much it's worth in the US, and I know when I say a crispy dollar, that means a green with George Washington on it, but Canadian it was probably red with some lady on it or something, I don't know. As you can see here from these hang tags, it'll let you know all you had to do is match to win the money. Now you had until August 1978, wait a minute, you had until October. This was such a big hit up in Canada that they extended it by two whole months. So you got your caps, you're ready to get your dollar, but there's a catch. This is where it gets really Canadian. <laughs> Just kidding. Not only do you have to find these two caps, match them up, then you have to do, I hate to say it, I hate to say the word, math. So you got your entry form and you had to do this. And we're not talking about just simple 2 plus 2 is 8. We're talking about hard math before everyone had a calculator in their pocket. Here's what the four math questions you had to answer. Multiply, add, divide by, subtract. I don't even know what that's saying. And it gives you a warning that the dealer, the person at the store, cannot help the customer with the skill test. Why? Why did they make you do... I mean, it was hard enough you had to drink all these Coca-Colas. Oh, sorry. You had to drink all these bottles of pop. Get a big old stomach ache. And then you finally match up these bottle caps and to get just a dollar. Just a dollar. One dollar. You had to do math first. But I don't know about you, but if I saw this contest and I matched up my heads and I went to my local general store... And I said, look, I got the two heads. Give me my dollar. And they said, here, do this math homework first. I don't need no damn dollar that damn bad. I'd buy that for a dollar. A dollar. Just, and that's just the grand prize. What if you got, what, the, what was the cheapest one here? Are they? 15 cents. Who's going to go on a Saturday afternoon to the general store and spend time doing four hard-ass math questions just to get 15 cents in the mail? Today, the hardest thing to find in this contest is probably the 10-ounce can, especially if it's unopened. There was two versions, one with English writing and one with this weird writing I can't read. I don't know, maybe it's French, Japanese, or Korean or something. On this one didn't have a cap, so you had to pop the top and look down in the hole after you drank all your coke, or you poured it down a sewer, just so you can see what character's head you got. Pop the top again. Remember when you used to pop a can bottle? I know, you kids today won't understand all that, where you pop it off, and the actual way you could break it and sling it across the room. <sighs> Peel back bottle. Now you just got that little flap thing, and your thumb goes down in it, and it scratches up the side of your thumb. Who drinks out of a can anyway? Um, let's look at the promotional material. Uh, you could also, not only could you win some money, you could win this free Star Wars poster. Just a generic Star Wars poster. It looks like the Star Wars poster you would expect. And here's some more promotional materials that would be at the store. Some for the customers to rip off and take home so they can read more about the details. Some to hang up in the stores. But that's it. That's a look at the wacky contest. And why again you had to do math? Why you... I, I, I'll never understand that. What, did they think someone was in their basement making these bottle caps here so they could get the free dollar from Coca-Cola? But they got fooled because, hey, they might be able to make fake bottle caps in their garage, but they'll never be able to answer these four math questions. They got us. Damn wacky Canadians. First, they gave us a contest where you had to do math to win Star Wars goodies, or a dollar or less. And then they gave us Dave Foley. Oh well, you Canadian, do you remember this contest? 
Anyway, let me know in the comments below what you think of this. Would you have saw that math contest and been like, I'm out of here. I ain't got time for all that. It's Saturday. I only do math between 9.30 and 10 o'clock, Monday through Friday when I'm at school. Okay, I'm going to go now. Let me in the comments below. I'm going to go look for my Mean Joe Green jersey. Where is it at? Call my, my mammy and see if she knows where it is. <sighs> mean Joe Green. Well, thank you for watching. Subscribe to the channel. Thumb up. Do all that good stuff. And we'll be back again very soon. You're just a Coca-Cola cowboy.